Hi everyone, it's Melissa from The M Word. Welcome back. If you're coming back, I really appreciate it. If you are new here, I am a homeschooling mom of three kiddos. I have a seven-year-old dog who will be going into second grade this coming school year. I have a three-year-old son who will be three in June. He will be doing preschool this year. And I have a one-year-old daughter who just turned one in April. I want to show you guys, we're just going to do an unboxing today of Bookshark. So I got Bookshark's science curriculum and I'm super excited about it. So this is the binder that comes. It's just a binder with some tabs in it and I'm just going to go through and show you guys each thing. It's not going to be a huge crazy flip through, just showing you each thing I've got. So we got this reptile book. It is an Osborne beginners book. So it is a factual book. It says all about reptiles. What are, you know, what are reptiles? Where do they live? What do they eat? Lots of answers about reptiles in this book. And I know that my daughter is going to love going through this. Then there is a book about rainforest. This is also an Osborne beginner book. It is the same type of thing. The book will take you through an amazing rainforest tour from the tops of the tree to the forest floor. You meet some weird and wonderful things that they find there. Um, why rainforests are in danger, what people should do to change to make rainforests last longer, why it's important that rainforests last longer. And that these are just the really easy beginner series books from Osborne, but they come in the science level A kit for Bookshark. Then this book is about weather. This is also another one of those Osborne beginner books. It goes through like what makes the wind blow? How can rain sometimes be red? Why are tornadoes like vacuum cleaners? Just answers to so many wonderful weather information. And this is also just one of those Osborne beginner books that came with our Bookshark Science. Bees and Wasps is another one of those Osborne beginner books. What do bees and wasps eat? What types of nests do they make? How do bees make honey? That you will find out so many information things about bees and wasps. This one is another one of those Osborne beginner books from the Science Level A from Bookshark. And ants. Ants. Where do ants make their nests? Where do they eat? What do they eat? How do they defend themselves? And how do they live? Where do they live? All the fun, fascinating things about ants. And I was thinking that I'm going to grab a little ant farm from Amazon. And I don't know if I need to make it so they can live forever in the ant farm or if I need to find a kind of ant that lives in my area so I can release them. I'm not really sure how to do an ant farm, but I want to do an ant farm little thing so they can see what they're doing when we go through this ant book because I think that would be fun. If you've done an ant farm or know what I should do with the ants after or how to keep them alive, go ahead and leave that in the comments so I know. I'd appreciate your feedback. The next thing on top here is the science supply kit. It has so much stuff in it. And then there's even a box, a little bag of cheese puffs, and I don't know why, but it was in the thing of why, the instructions of what we needed. So there's you know, little cups, there's some clay, gravel, there's some PVC pipes, some bubble wrap. There's just, there's so much in here. And I can't wait to see what kind of science experiments they have us doing. Cause I think they're gonna be a blast. We also got the online as well. So it does this science book that comes with this. It has some like question and answer worksheet pages and that will be all online for her. So this one here is the Science A Experiments. So in here, it has like a table of contents and it looks like one of the first things will be is why do ants build tunnels? So I'll have to get the ant farm very quickly, apparently. We, let's see, I'm going to be looking down and reading through this for you quick. Uh, why do ants walk? Leaf cutter ants need leaves. Um, water spider insects stay afloat. How do snakes move? The rainforest grow in layers. How is chocolate made? Why are honeycombs hexagons? So much amazing stuff in here. 
but I know some of these work pages and the science stuff is in the online thing as well. So I'm excited to see how the books integrate with online because they walked me through it a little bit and it looks so much cool. I love that my daughter could open her the Fire Kids tablets or my iPad. I'm not sure which. I'm hoping it'll work on her Fire tablet, but we haven't tried it yet. But if it doesn't, I'll just have her do it off my iPad. But I love that I can go through everything with her and then have her do the worksheets herself on there and it will grade it for me. So I will be able to know like how she did and where she went and I can go in there and edit things too, my understanding is. So if I don't want her to answer a certain question or if I want her to skip an entire lesson or something, I can go in there and do that for her. Which I love having control over stuff like that. So I love that Bookshark integrated that into their online platform. When we get using it, I'll try to go through and show you guys what we're doing and how we did it and what if it works on the Fire tablet or not. Um, and I will let you know which one it works on. Let me finish showing you this stuff. So this is the instructor's guide. This goes in this binder. I don't know if I'm gonna put it in this binder though. I might put it in one of my binders I bought because this binder's awfully large. And it's not that it's large width that bothers me, it's the length. It's a very long book and I'm worried it won't fit where I need to put it. So I'm gonna see if I can put it in a different binder. But these packet guides are also, my understanding is online. So I could be wrong on that, so don't quote me quite yet. I haven't been on there enough to know for sure. This instructor guide all goes in there. It's yes, these worksheets are on the online. So these are the worksheets that she fills out. This is an activity that she'll be able to do either on the worksheet or online, which I love that. And they're here. I just, I love that they can do either or. That is gonna work so much better in our homeschool. And then they also have the answer guides for the parent. So that is awesome too. And online, I believe it grades it for you online, which I'm also super excited about. So I'm gonna put that together in a little bit. There is this book here. We've read recently a book about her and I'm probably not gonna say her name right. Um, one Garia, uh, if that's, that's probably wrong. I asked Google last time how to say it before I read the book to the kids. But it's this wonderful girl from Kenya who built a ton of trees. She was an amazing woman. We read a whole book from the library during um, Women's History Month and the kids just adored it. She built, she won the Nobel Peace Prize when she was older for being an environmentalist and how a woman's passion and vision can inspire great change. She is a wonderful woman. She helps you learn why rainforests are being destroyed, how people need to do something different. And she just continued building or planting trees. And she just, she did so much just by planting trees. She was a wonderful woman. And I just her story, I just love it so much. So I'm so glad that Bookshark added a book, a story for her and it, they touch on how important rainforests are. And there is the Magic School Bus book. And this one is inside a hurricane. So this one probably goes with the weather unit. And I'm sure most of you are familiar with the Magic School Bus by now. I love that they have the Magic School Bus. I love that Bookshare has the Magic School Bus in here because we already watch a lot of their videos on YouTube when we are doing our current science because we use Building Blocks of Science right now. And I do plan on still using Building Blocks of Science as textbook, but I really think that this is going to open up her understanding of science so much more. And I'm so excited to get involved in this. There is stage two. This is Let's Read and Find Out Science. Forces Make Things Move book. There are forces at work whenever you throw a ball, run upstairs, or push your big brother off the couch. Want to learn more about forces around you? Read and find out. So this is a stage two book. So she might, as she gets a little older, she'll be able to read this herself. But for now, I might just read it for her. But it is a fairly easy reader. This is Find Out Science. Have you ever wanted to know what its lightning is or who discovered things that fall to the ground? Packed with surprising scientific facts and amazing pictures, Small book filled with tons of facts and ideas with amazing pictures. So I'm excited to get into this book. I mean, do you see that? That is so cool. It's showing like the most crazy reptile, mammal, animal thing. I don't even know what's going on there, but that is really cool. 
This one's about science, like what is science? I'm just, I'm so excited. This one will go great for gardening because we're gonna start our garden soon from seed to plant. This is a book that just explains how a plant gets from a seed to a plant and Bookshark's experiments came with a plant to grow. So I'm sure she will be super excited to do that. And of course, this is another one of these beautiful books. I love beautiful books. I've said that before, right? I love beautiful books. Now, why do elephants need the sun? 93 million miles all the way around the earth. This energy moves the clouds, so rain can fill up in holes and thirsty elephants can drink. The sun's energy enables plants to grow so hungry elephants can eat. But that is the quick unboxing. The only thing left in here is my packing slip and the science kit that I went through and made sure I had everything I needed. So it came with like rubber bands, aluminum foil, balloons, bamboo skewers, paper clips, binder clips, a ceramic tie, um, styrofoam cups, plastic cups, eyedroppers, glue dots, honey sticks. There was a whole honey stick, like a stick of honey in there. There was yeast, masking tape, glitter, marigold seeds, mesh plastic cameras, orange cheese puffs, packing peanut, pea pods, ping pong, pinto beans, pipe cleaners, popsicle sticks, potting soil, PVC pipe, red ribbon, sand, sticker sheets. I did circle the sticker sheets. Um, I didn't see them in there, but I also haven't reached out to Bookshark to ask about that yet. So I'm sure they, if, if it's actually missing, I'm sure they'll fix it for me. I don't have any problems with Bookshark. They have been amazing from the moment I even reached out to them. So I'm so excited. I think I forgot to mention that in the beginning of this that I reached out to the Bookshark and asked them about collaborating with them as I was really intrigued at their science and I wanted to see if it would work for our homeschool. So they went ahead and they sent me the science in exchange for my honest review. So this unboxing is not part of one of the honest review documents, so that'll be coming up soon, but just full disclosure, they did send this to me to try out. So I'm really thankful to Buckshark for doing that. So thank you so much. And I will definitely be showing you guys how we were going to be using this because I couldn't be more excited. I've been wanting to see what else we could do for science and nothing else has really piqued my interest because I really do love building blocks of science. I just don't like all the workbooks. So I think right now my plan is to keep the building blocks of science textbook but to use it as a supplement on top of using bookshark as our main science so i'm hoping that will work this year but i really appreciate you guys thank you so much and i'll talk to you next time bye